hello 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 welcome and welcome back to the channel um you know i felt really good today in spite of the fact that i was supposed to be running a marathon today but i woke up and i had that kind of tightness in my hamstring and my um right leg that i get so much and i didn't think working it out through ch or trying to work it out through stretching that doesn't work most of the time but trying to work it out through stretching or whatever i was like it's just not gonna happen and running definitely won't work the kink out it's just gonna make it worse and make it tighter i have terrible luck with that it's something i've been dealing with forever um so i didn't get to run the marathon and i was like i'm driven to be productive today <laughs> in some kind of way and i thought i thought i have the energy because i prepared to have the energy <laughs> So maybe I can record something. So finally getting to something else that I've been wanting to get to for the last couple of weeks, which is a sort of live performance marathon for some of the groups that I have been more consistently reacting to. So I've got a G Idol or Idol, I guess. <laughs> and I supposed to um, intro, then it says pop stars. My concern with pop stars is being blocked in some way um hopefully not because it's part of a performance um and then uh my bag so but this is all together together um yeah i don't know i should probably see it, it sucks when you don't <laughs> get so excited about things i didn't think about this because i remember people telling me uh, when just when i was doing the um the idol killing voice that I should, that I needed to skip just this, the section of pop stars that they were going to perform uh, for their killing voice. And that's just going to be, what is it like, maybe 30 seconds of each of a song. And even people are saying that typically got, got a video blocked. So I'm not sure this may end up being a little YouTube chopped and screwed special because I also have a Beanie Life performance of Carrera. And you know my luck with Beanie stuff. That very often there's issues with uh, Beanie content. Um, so, but I did see people reacting to, or I did see YouTube reactions to that, but some reactors are really good about, like they know they have the editing software, they can slap a giant font or something, or a, a weird filter on something and prevent it from being i can't do that i i still don't know how to do that the best thing that i know how to do is blur it through youtube studio or just get rid of the content period um i've tried in the past to use clipchamp to uh and ca uh, canva to add some kind of edit here or there or some kind of filter or text to at least have a a censored section of a reaction as opposed to a completely blocked reaction or blur completely blurred and obstructed and even that didn't work for me so that's something that i'll be figuring out down the line but for now whenever something like that happens whenever something is excuse me partially or fully blocked by youtube i will have it on patreon uh uncensored version complete version um free to watch of course uh just in case that happens with either idol because of pop stars or carrera uh because beanie content is just that's just the way that it goes sometimes um but aside from idol and beanie i also have Dreamcatcher stop um i have a fan cam from istanbul that they just played uh, not too long ago i think it was the end of september um or maybe it's the end of august i'm a little cons concerned not just the quality looks decent from the thumbnail but i'm also like sometimes so it's the position someone's in you can't get the whole group or sometimes you accidentally click on a fan cam with or, or like an individual fan cam without knowing it because it's not in the title and you'll see it's just following one member <laughs> um so we'll, or well, I should say a member, one member focus, but it's not in the title. So you don't know. So I'm, hey, I'm, I'm hoping none of that is true. And that's a good fan cam because I love Stump. 
and I have yet to be able to see them uh, really do it as a full group. Now, they did it at, uh, I think it was KCON Germany. They did perform stunt, but it was kind of not, you, you know, they, they were immersed with the, they were engaging with the crowd. So they're like separated all over the place. Um, you know, they're never, they're not really together at, um, during the song. And it's very much uh, walking around, throwing stuff into the crowd and engaging with the crowd. So it's not really a focus on vocals and really trying to uh, nail it as a performance, right? It was really just a, a interacting with the crowd moment. They may as well have been talking. Like they, they, they have that sense how, how tough they were interacting. Um, but anyway, and I also have um, AT's Hala Hala, which I'm almost certain I have already watched a performance of Palo Hala because I love it to death. I love it. I'm obsessed with that choreography. But, you know, I it's going to be a new one. And it's been a super long time since I watched an AT's performance of anything. So I when I got the urge to do this, I was very much had an urge to do that. <laughs> so that's what I have. So now I'm going to stop talking uh, and get started. Let's go. They got a live band back there. You hear that like guitar is like beer over there. They got a wow. They can afford that, huh? That must be nice. They can afford to a uh, tour with uh, a live band. That's that's great. Also, I really did underestimate my reaction to just having Oogie be a part of <laughs> of a KDA performance. You know. Um, and I think that what I was not ready for is just to watch Idol perform uh, KDA songs, because as I have, ar have already mentioned several times, I discovered Idol through KDA, uh, with, through uh, Soyeon and um, Mion, because, um, you know, so I knew they were part of that. But here is the thing about KDA, genuinely, some of the greatest k-pop songs of all time so these are like these are not just songs i love these aren't songs i like these aren't songs i just jam with these aren't songs i just work out to these K kda songs i'm obsessed i they are some of my favorite songs ever so i was not prepared <laughs> for a, a, some, a live mix of it and then b to just like see i to perform it and especially to have like oogie's voice be a part of 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 this and so because i you guys told me to cut to like skip that little uh pop star section on the killing voice i did and i never went back and rewatched the killing voice like i i thought i would i'm i'm sure i will but i still haven't so i literally have never heard this before <laughs> it's just neat on me also i feel like I hear like like live guitar back there and and even before I heard that I heard some like very um just like a very pretty interesting arrangement that's a lot more melodic in the instrumentation than the studio track so that was all very interesting and I didn't say it and I'm sorry but absolutely a pause warning obviously we're, we're watching live performances I'm gonna pause
The guitar is giving me life. It killed me, it brought me back, it gave me life. Oh my god. Sorry, I need to hear it. Just I need the Oogie again because I've got to look at her. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta respect her. I was too, I'm too lit. God, I wish I could get this picture. Um, wow. Wow. Like I said, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I couldn't apologize beforehand of how how I, I would act. Who was I? How was I to know? How was anyone to know? Moving right along. Absolutely the perfect song to um combine with this. And not just because it has the same vibe. But because it has the same message, basically. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Lasers. I'm obsessed with the way she holds this mic on this. And I saw that clip where she um uh she she was doing that dance and she had it like that and then she like tossed it and grabbed it like she's so cool. I'm sorry, I don't know why it buffers again now. We were doing so well and I went back to outputting in 1080p and everything. Oh well.
I'm going to go back further than I want to just so I can give it time to buffer and then catch up and all that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and then it's not going <laughs> to. And then he didn't do it. I know that guitar did not just get that dark out of nowhere. Oh my God, they're killing who it the guitars. Personal space. What is that? Good Lord. <laughs> Oh, see, I'm already feel like it's set up right. That art doesn't that already look like that's about to be a she. It's vertical. Okay, <laughs> I apologize. Um, that was awesome. It's it's so cool knowing what they started from and knowing the uh, level of confidence their company didn't have in them when they started and now they are doing all of these arena shows and i mean it's just really it's been phenomenal in part and apparently uh klaxon just entered back into the top of the charts so uh <laughs> there the 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 korean public that the like general i guess i guess the that they seem to have grasped a very um casual fan base which is what you want in terms of streaming i guess so like you have your dedicated fan bases you have k-pop fan bases i think you have people that would specifically seek out a certain type of music and you have that as a fan base and then you have you know fandoms and all that but the if the casual pop listener in korea is latching onto your music then i think that that's sort of what's really been helping idol so and in any case and i mean and that's uh, i and that's down to uh Soyun's production um so that's that's incredible you know she knows what the people want apparently even when the company doesn't think she does even when she doesn't think she does because a lot of these songs she didn't even like <laughs> and, um well let me take that back with Claxon because i think that she had nothing to do with i think that was all produced by other people um no Claxon was her anyway i'm sure you guys are correct that it's been a minute um, so moving on to Dreamcatcher Stomp, unfortunately, it looks like I made two, there are lots of things that may be happening that I didn't want. It's a vertical, which is, it's vertical, and it may end up being she unfocused. Of course, we don't know for sure, it just started, but 
if it's vertical and it's already on one member. But we'll see. Um, in any case, I'm still excited because I haven't seen this. I've seen very little of Stomp Live. Like I said, I saw the KCON Jeremy, but I feel like that doesn't count. Um, so anyway, let's just go anyway. And thank you to this person who recorded it and posted it to YouTube. I'm not complaining about your footage. You're wonderful for uploading it. It's, it's just not uh, the best thing to kind of react to. And that's not your fault if you happen to notice. <laughs> who are you to know that your video will be chosen as a, for a reaction? <laughs> Absolutely, she in focus because that's Gaia. Also fun, this show. <laughs> okay, so yeah, major screw up with the Dreamcatcher reaction. Obviously, I still at the time of my life because it's my at this point tied with two other songs as my favorite Dreamcatcher song. It's hype. Clearly, I'm in the mood to be hype, but for you guys watching, not the best. And I apologize. Let's move on. Carrera, show it off with performance. Again, good luck to me. <laughs> but some of these things getting to you too. And also, uh, I'll also keep searching and I will most likely post a, um, a uh, I'll find like a different kind of uh, live footage or, or fan cam or something for Stump to react to. I, I will never waste an opportunity or an excuse to watch a live performance or hear or listen to stop. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Oh, 
wow, the names are there. That's going to be helpful because I still, other other than Stacy, I, I still struggle. I still don't. Okay, I didn't. I was just curious if there may be captions. But yeah, other than, than Stacy, I don't know. I, I still, I still, there, I, so I think I know Aya pretty well, Mika, and I also know that I'm probably, I know I'm saying Mika's name wrong, right? Uh, Mika, Aya, um, Stacy, of course. I feel like I know Gwen. I feel like the, her, face and like the shape of her face and, and whatnot because she had the short hair for cherry on top i believe uh the cherry on top era whenever i'm looking or even right here that's i so i <laughs> i think i know her face pretty well um that may be it i may not oh jo joanna i somehow for some reason seem to know pretty well as, as well um but that's pretty much it still working face to name with the rest of the members okay Calm down. My God. most we play exactly. Girl. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Main vocalist. I get it. Mika. Most of everybody is in my head. I'm just, I feel like lately when you go back, it's just say that. <laughs> You know, I gotta go back for rap line. I mean, the way that this is going to go, the way this is going to go, see, I really sit and most replayed everywhere. The way this is gonna go is, I, is Stacy 
I feel like Stacey's just going to be my bias. And I feel like it is inevitable that Mika is going to be my bias wrecker. Uh, even though I know they're not the only people in the group who rap, um, I, my understanding is this is one of those groups where everyone does everything. Some people are probably upset. I even say it, that Joanna was a, one of the main vocalists. I just recall, I think, from a guy that she is. that, that I mean, that that's underneath her, her, her name as a position. But there's something, there's a, the, the thing is the tone, right? So even if other people are skilled with rap, for me, there's just certain tones that resonate more um, with rapping. And I just know that they're about to destroy me. The more that I get into this group, it's just a one-two punch. I know. I just know. <laughs> Missing so much of it. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, OTA ending berry. <laughs> All right. Wow, right into it. Yeah, that was amazing. I mean, obviously I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Um, yeah, I just I think they're great. And as always, watching Beanie dance and sing at the same time is always just so satisfying um just to watch them be in sync and then you know hearing the you know the the way they perfected that in a certain way that a lot of entertainers don't have to or just don't um wonderful always wonderful and i feel like malloy i think feel like that's a face i'm gonna now have nailed she has a she has a very unique face or at the very least her face is quite unique among um or in beanie her face is very unique um but yeah, man. Okay, moving on to AT's Hala. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> not only I, I'm just I'm so certain that I've already watched a performance for Hala Hala, but um, I'm kind of scared that it was this one because <laughs> I just felt like in my um my AT's deep dive, I often this this the fellowship break the wall uh, anchors like I feel like this is something that I end up going to a lot when I want to do album reactions, um, stuff from this particular concert. I really did feel uh, very excited just to be in the mood to record a reaction this morning. Um, so it does, what's pretty obvious at this point is that I jumped on that impulse to, as to not lose it, um, and I did not do my due diligence. <laughs> so this may be riddled with apologies. Um, but I guarantee you, I am about to react to this like it's the first time I've ever seen it, even if I have. So let's go. And by the way, this is just a latte. <laughs> if you are you you're very if you're very excited, when people see you very excited, then they see you drink something, they assume it's alcoholic. No. Sometimes people are just excited. I mean, I have no lot. But it does happen. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh no, I have not seen this. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my god, hold on, because just goddamn Bingy rapping with no effect is. It is just my favorite thing. <laughs> God, I love this man. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I totally clicked on a new video. <laughs> oh my god, uh, son, gave me stop it. Son, actually, let me just let it play because I feel like it's going to because they want to show the ad. Okay, uh, <laughs> that that was so awesome. Song gives me chills. Every his face, it's just, and I feel like every time his face really got me, like the stuff he was doing, the camera was like just peeling away from him. But man, I just he just put so much emotion into his dancing. I told you when I watched the guide, and they got to him in the guide, and they were talking, getting to that point of. Um, you know, talking about his dancing and, and how he's known for that. He gave me chills in the guide, and it, every time they showed him, it gave me chills here. I mean, 
he's incredible. He does, he makes, you know, I'm, I, this is a risky thing to say, but honestly, I just don't list to boy groups. So, I mean, I, truthfully, it's not that risky. I don't have a lot of points of reference, but for me, he makes me feel the way that some of uh, Taemin's choreography or some of the, how Taeyeon, uh, Taemin used to make me feel uh, in his older choreography. Um, honestly, just chills. Never seen anyone that emotive uh, in their expression. And it, it's really, it's really something. And, and when you, ha you have a group like A.T.'s, everyone can dance their butts off. Everyone is, everyone is phenomenal when it comes to dancing. And they worked very, very hard to become that way. As I'm currently watching <laughs> the KQ fellas, uh, when they're, you know, practicing dancing for days. Um, and it shows. They're all fantastic. They work hard, it shows. But there is just something that San brings that does set his uh, performance apart a little bit, which is very hard to do in a sea of fantastic dancers, right? So it's still a compliment to everybody else. But, you know, it's just like a lot of people have great voices and they can all sing, but sometimes there's just a certain voice that you appreciate more than others. Um, so I definitely just have this, uh, I definitely have this sort of intense reaction to San because he is just so intense. Um, uh, but yeah, I had a great time today. A couple of, uh, flubs on my part, <laughs> but hey, it's a rough channel. It's still rough. It's been a year, but given, given the uh, inconsistency of how often I can work on my channel, uh, still grinding it out, still learning the ropes and figuring things out. Um, although I guess searching for a proper fan cam for Stump has nothing to do with that. That was just an oversight. <laughs> but I did have a good time and thank you so much for hanging out with me. And if you're still here, thank you for still being here. Um, I'm going to try and record this right here today on the October 19th. Uh, but if it's blocked, that won't happen. Uh, because I'll have some work to do to get it up on Patreon and make sure that it's available to people uh, at the same time it's getting posted to YouTube. But anyway, uh, please do like and comment and subscribe and forgive uh, <laughs> for the other things in the video. Uh, please do join the Discord, chat with me if you would like to, uh, but be happy, be healthy, and thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys later.